I have both the Coleman four prism pop-up tent and the four prism sky dome tent, so let's compare both these tents right now. The pop-up tent is by far the easiest Coleman tent to set up. Just take it out of the carry bag, remove the black strap holding the tent together, toss it away from you, and watch it pop open with the rain fly pre-attached. This takes all of 15 seconds. Guiding out and staking down the tent takes just 1 minute and 15 seconds for a total setup timing of just 1 and a half minutes. As for the Skydome tent, the poles are pre-attached only to the back of the tent, so you still have to put both poles together, secure the other end, then clip the 14 pole clips around the tent. And after that, you still gotta attach the rainfly and guy it out. Altogether, it takes 9.5 minutes to set up the Skydome tent, which is about the same time as a regular Sundome tent. The Coleman pop-up tent also packs it really quickly by folding the tent until it looks like a taco and then folding the taco down. I'm able to pack it up in just 2 minutes after getting used to it. As for the Skydome tent, I had to fold the tent body in half about 3 times, roll it up, fold the rain flag and then squeeze everything back into the carry bag. This takes between 7 to 10 minutes depending on whether you remove this strip at the bottom of the bag. The peak height of the four-person pop-up tent is just 39 inches, so I could only sit up inside the tent. For this tent, I wouldn't recommend fitting a camping mattress that's more than six inches thick. The peak height of the Skydome four-person tent is much higher at about 59 inches, and I can almost stand up inside the tent. The base area of both tents is about the same at around 55 square feet, but the four-person pop-up tent could fit at most three regular sleeping pads side by side. I couldn't fit four pads because the base area is in an oval shape. The four-person sky dome could fit four pads nicely, and both tents could fit a queen bed with a decent amount of space left over for gear. Both tents have just one door each, but I love the sky dome's door for two reasons. First, it's super huge, measuring a whopping 4 feet in length. And second, I also really love the door pocket here by the side, where I could stuff the door fabric in when the door is open, so very user-friendly. As for the 4-person pop-up tent, it's quite a few inches smaller with a longest length of just 41 inches, and to keep the door open, I had to tie it up with these lashes at the top, which takes a lot more fumbling and a lot more time. My four-person Skydome tent came with not only a pocket behind the door pocket, this pocket that's been split into four, but even a gear loft at the top of the tent, plus a lantern loop on top of the gear loft. On the other hand, the four-person pop-up tent came with only one pocket, which is split into two, no gear lofts, and not even a lantern loop, so I had to hang a lantern up using the door latch attachment. My Skydome tent came with not one, not two, but three humongous mesh walls, plus a window on the last wall, which makes hot day ventilation without a rain fly pretty awesome. In contrast, the pop-up tent has just one small window that's part of the door and some ceiling mesh at the top of the tent. With the rain fly on for rainy days, my Skydome tent has three humongous mesh wall vents for a decent amount of ventilation even in heavy rain. I could even crack the window open if there's no wind. As for my pop-up tent, it has minimal ventilation because no windows can be opened and there are also no vents at all. In fact, when I put my Coleman pop-up tent through just 15 minutes of heavy rain because the rain fly is just so small, the entire tent was completely soaked through. Not only did the door leak tons of water into the tent, the tape seam between the flooring and the tent body was also leaking, all the fabric in the tent had been soaked through and even the underside of the rain fly was wet. As for the Skydome tent, even though three sides of the tent have a decently long rainfly length, the front of the tent has a much shorter rainfly length, which doesn't offer quite as much rain protection, and the first drop of water started seeping into the flooring seam here after 15 minutes. But if you use a little seam sealant for this seam, this tent will be able to last at least a couple of hours in super heavy rain, if not more. Also, the Skydome tent has a bathtub flooring extending up about 6.5 inches, while the Coleman pop-up tent doesn't have any bathtub feature. The Skydome 4 person tent weighs 10.5 pounds, while the 4 person pop-up tent is slightly lighter, weighing slightly over 8 pounds. But the pop-up tent is 50% bulkier because it comes in this huge circle, while the Skydome has a normal pack size. Overall, while I love how quickly the pop-up tent sets up as well as packs up, which I was able to do in just 1-2 to two minutes tops, there's nothing else that's too great about this tent. In fact, the peak height is much lower, storage options are lacking for sure, ventilation is not that great, it's bulky, and it's my weakest Coleman tent in the heavy rain. 
On the other hand, while the Sky Dome isn't exactly a quick pitch of 5 minutes, the setup and pack up is still pretty simple, the door is super user friendly, storage is better than your average Coleman tent, ventilation is pretty good and it can do well in heavy rain if you add a little seam sealant. If you're looking for a quick setup for fair weather backyard camping, the pop up tent will do just fine. But otherwise, you're probably better off with the Sky Dome tent which has more pros and cons and is a pretty decent Coleman tent. But before you buy anything, I highly recommend that you watch this video where I compare not just the Sky Dome tent, but also the pop-up tent against more than 10 other Coleman tents. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.